All right, guys, so just a quick overview of the scents I'm going to be talking about in today's video. I do have my lotions on my bed waiting to come onto this table, so when we're done with the perfume portion of the video, I am going to switch out the perfumes for the lotions and we'll go through those. Or I was thinking about also just doing like a lotion video separate from this one because this could be a long video just because Tracy did ask me to talk about my favorite scents, which I have a ton. Before I get into this video, I want to first just do a very quick quick disclaimer because no matter what video it is that people seem to watch when it comes to collections at least, doesn't matter if it's a makeup collection video, a candle collection video, a perfume and lotion collection video, no matter what video it is, as long as it's a collection, especially here in the beauty community here on YouTube, there's always going to be a, that one or a few people who have some sort of problem with us having this much of a product. I am an adult and I will spend my money on what I want to spend it on and because I do this here on YouTube. I buy a lot of beauty products and I buy them because I enjoy them. I buy them because I use them. All the products you see in this video are used. I do use each and every single one of these perfumes and lotions and when it gets down to the very bottom of the bottle what I usually do is like say around right here I will save it and I will use it as a room spray that way it does get used and then I'll move on to the next bottle but that is my way of going through my perfumes and lotions. I don't know what you guys do but I know some people like in my last collection video were just like that's so unsanitary it's so disgusting like no person should own that much stuff like why is that your issue like it's my money and I'm gonna spend it on what I want to spend it on because I'm an adult and I can do that now so with that being said if you don't like these kind of videos and you know you don't and you're only here to troll but I don't have time to sit in my comment section and battle with you on why I shouldn't waste my money on the things that I want to waste my money on so yeah this video might not be long I'm gonna try to cut it as short as possible. I'm going to go ahead and just show you each perfume, give you some of the notes, the key notes in the scents themselves, and then pinpoint my favorite ones. I love you guys so, so much. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, bye. All right, guys. So, starting over here, I have Oahu Coconut Sunset Country Chic Beautiful Day. This one is actually really, really pretty during the summer. I like to use it, especially when I'm a lot tanner. Beautiful Day, the Diamond Shimmer Mist. If you've never tried the Bath & Body Works Diamond Shimmer Mist, definitely try these out. It's a beautiful, beautiful product to wear in the summer, so I definitely love this one a lot. Snowflakes and Cashmere is a brand new favorite. I just got this for Christmas. Wild Madagascar Vanilla is another very very beautiful warm scent. Snow kissed sugar. It really isn't a particular scent in there that I really can pinpoint. It kind of smells sort of like raspberries if you will. Into the Wild is definitely one of my all-time favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. This one is a very sexy, very youthful scent if you will. Pear and Cashmere Woods, another warm scent. This one I think was available this year. I'm not sure. You may be able to snag it in the semi-annual sale, but I absolutely love this one. Frosted Winter Woods, another really, really woodsy scent. Again, I love the warmer, woodsier scent, so that one's a really good one to get. Coming over here, we have Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss. This one, I don't, this one I really only use for a, a room spray because it really is too much of a fruity scent and I'm not somebody who goes normally for the more fruitier scents. Twilight Woods. Now this one has a backstory to it, so let's just get into that. All right, so Twilight Woods is a very special scent for me because for the longest time this was my signature scent, only because this perfume was released around, I want to say like a few days after the Twilight movie, the first Twilight movie was released, and my best friend Andy and I were at the mall for the midnight release of the Twilight soundtrack, the very first Twilight soundtrack, and Bath & Body Works had stayed open alongside with the store Hot Topic, which was where we were buying our CDs from, and they had a release for Twilight Woods. So that collection sold out incredibly fast, but her and I were very lucky to snag the entire collection of uh, perfumes and lotions. This is not the original bottle, by the way. This is a brand new bottle. They still sell this scent in stores. So the reason why this is a huge favorite of mine is because even still to this very day, no matter how old I get, I will always be a Twihard. I was obsessed with Twilight when it first came out. So this scent, honestly, to me, just brings me back to those happy memories of being a teenager in love with a fictional book character. So yeah, Twilight 
Twilight Woods, definitely a favorite. Moving on to Cucumber Melon. Cucumber Melon was one of the scents that Bath & Body Works actually did away with and discontinued back in the 90s. But last year, they did this release of all the original Bath & Body Works scents. So Cucumber Melon, Plumeria. I think they had one other one. I can't remember what it was. But this one was one of my all-time favorite scents when I was younger, when I was like way younger. So when I saw they had re-released these scents from the 90s, I absolutely had to go and get the entire collection, which I did. Winterberry Wonder. This one is definitely a true to its name scent. It does smell a lot like berries, but it does have some notes of like warm vanilla in it too, which makes it very, very appealing to me. All right, guys. So this one is one of the brand new ones from this year's collection, the winter collection. This is the Twisted Peppermint Holiday Traditions Perfume. The reason why I bought the entire collection for this year was because it says since 1990, that was the year I was born. So to me, it was special. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was special, but to me it was special in the fact that it had my birth year on it and Bath & Body Works has been around since the 90s. So I like this scent though. It's very, it is very, very pepperminty. So if you like peppermint, you will definitely love this scent. Central Amber is another one from the 90s. This one is definitely the warmest scent out of all of the warm scents I've already shown you guys. Fresh Sparkling Snow and Jingle on the Way are both from last year's collections. Fresh Sparkling Snow definitely is a clean scent. It's nothing fruity. There's no like vanilla a sense to it. It's just a very clean scent, which I definitely like that a lot about that. Jingle All The Way is another berry scent. And then Holiday Wishes, though. A Thousand Wishes, sorry guys, was one of my all-time favorite releases they released for last year. As you can see, I am down to the very last bit of it. And the last one I have here is in the scent Plumeria, which was another 90s fragrance that I did away with back in the 90s. Alright guys, so here is my smaller bottle of lotion collection from Bath & Body Works. We'll start over here with Capri Seaside Citrus. This one definitely smells very, very summery. I want to say it's more on the citrusy side. So if you're not somebody who likes these citrusy scents, this one would not be one for you. And then we have, of course, A Thousand Wishes in the lotion formula. Frosted Snow Blossom and Winterberry Wonder are both from this year's holiday release. And then I have Pear and Cashmere Woods Autumn, that same perfume I told you I love so much. I have the lotion form of it. I have Morocco Orchid and Pink Amber, Beautiful Day. Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is another one of the 90s all-time favorite, the cult favorite. This one is just perfection. If you like vanilla scents, this is literally perfect. Pear is some more. Wild Honeysuckle and Forever Sunshine. We go down here and we have Violet Lily Sky. This one's a beautiful, fresh, very clean scent. And then, of course, you've got Twilight Woods, Malibu Heat, Mahogany Teakwood, Midnight Pomegranate, Into the Wild. I also have Tokyo Lotus Apple Blossom. Another one from this year's release. This is the Frosted Coconut Snowball. I also have Bali Mango and Cool Amazon Rain. And for my purse, I love the scent Moonlit Path. All right, guys, so now we get into the Triple Ultra Shea Moisture Lotion. I have, of course, Into the Wild, Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss, Hawaii Lay Flower. Rain Kiss Leaves is definitely a unique scent. It smells exactly like it smells outside during the summer, right before it's about to rain outside. I don't know how they got it so close, but it smells so good. Pumpkin Cake and Vanilla Bean Noel are both holiday favorites from this year, as well as Winter Candy Apple, which is my favorite. Cucumber Melon, obviously, for that 90s collection. Brown Sugar and Fig. I had the perfume to this and I just used the last of it up the other day. If you can find this scent in store, please do yourself a favor and pick it up and smell it. It smells so good if you like the warmer scent. This is a more subtle warm scent, but to me it smells so, so good. Japanese Cherry Blossom, Sheer Cotton and Lemonade, A Thousand Wishes, which is almost gone. Plumeria, and of course, like I said, Winter Candy Apple. And I actually forgot one of the perfumes I actually have from Bath & Body Works. This is the Forever Midnight scent, and it's a really, really sexy, very dark-ish scent, if you like the more dark scent. All right, guys, so now for my Victoria's Secret and Pink collection. So over here here I've got my large tub of more pink. I've got Victoria's Secret Winter Cranberry Amber Romance. Aqua Kiss is my all-time favorite Victoria's Secret perfume. I've got Glamour, which I'm literally almost out of, which I'm happy about because I've had it for a while now. I also have Sheer Love, pink, uh, Pink's Fresh and Clean scent. I've got Coconut Passion, 
Aqua Kiss Lotion, Victoria's Secret Snow Mint. I've got Fresh and Clean Lotion, this random little Hollister one. I love Hollister perfumes and lotions. And then over here, I've got Victoria's Secret Tropical Nights. This one is a, this one is a whipped body souffle lotion. It's so good. And then over here, I also have the Pink Pretty and Pure Lotion. Down here, I have this perfume's sister lotion right here, Glamour. Endless Sunset Perfume and Lotion. Hello Darling, Pink Ready to Party Lotion. Coconut Passion Lotion, which is a sister product to this one. Love Spell in the small bottle. Love the smell so much. This one's my newest purchase from the other day. This is the Forever Sexy Fragrance Mist and the So In Love Fragrance Mist. If you love roses, this one's gonna be for you. Alright guys, so that is all I have for you guys for today. Uh, please excuse the back. I have been redoing my entire bedroom. I think I'm moving that bed actually today. So it looks like a mess back there, but I did already put all my lotions and perfumes from Beth and Body Works back up on that shelf. So that is what you guys are looking at in the back of my videos. With that being said guys, I am gonna be filming a vanity tour for you guys, but it's not gonna be for another couple months just because I am redoing my entire bedroom just so it looks good when I show you guys but I am going to be filming a collection video for you guys of my entire makeup collection that I use on myself. But if there are any more requests that you guys want me to film, leave them down below as well as any comments or questions. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.